Hello Gemini and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before, my name is Maria Guyon. I am an intuitive business success coach and tarot card reader. And I'm here to do your monthly reading for October 2021. So get comfy, grab a cup of your favourite tea and let's have a little chat about what's coming up for you in October. This is your money spread at the top. Clear out the clutter. What have we got next? What you need to focus on is the Seven of Crystals, options and results. Strengths, the Hanged Man, Patience and Perspective. Possible obstacles, Four of Feathers, Sanctuary and Rest. And the outcome, the King of Feathers, Logic and Justice. So, money, money Gemini. Clear out the clutter. This can be physical clutter, mental clutter. Could you increase your income by clearing out and selling a few things? If you're hitting a bit of a point at the moment where you feel like your money is not flowing the way that you would like it to flow, is it possible that you have a few things in your home that other people might value more than you do now? Maybe they've reached the end of their sell-by date as far as you're concerned and you could sell them on to make yourself some money. The key to this card actually is clearing out clutter that no longer serves you. And that isn't necessarily just physical clutter. Although I do feel it's it's funny because I've cleared out my little house here, this little wild fox cottage that I have. I call it wild fox cottage. It's a garden shed, let's be honest. But it's where the magic happens for me. And I just cleared it all out. And I find often that this September energy of, you know, sort of getting ready to hibernate for the winter is a great time to clear clutter out. You know, you get all your, your cold weather clothes back out and pack away all the, the bikinis and the summer stuff. And it can leave space for new things to come in. Because if we're packed out with things, we have no space for new things. There's no energy for new things to come in. We can talk about clutter that is sat on our PC. What have we got on our laptop, PC, phone that is just clutter? It just, you know, we can't find anything because there's just too much stuff to sort through. It's time to start doing some clearing out. And I feel it will benefit you. No end. And it will benefit your finances because I think you'll find a few things that you can sell. And that could be things that you've made, actually, that you've got sitting on your hard drive, books that you've written, courses you came up with products and services that you came up with the ideas for but then you shelved maybe you'll rediscover them by digging through some of the old stuff have a look clear your stuff out tidy up give yourself space for new things to come in that's what you need to focus on for this month that is your energy for the month for your money gemini okay where you need to focus your energy is on the seven of crystals and crystals are money the crystals are representative of physical things money material goods the Seven of Crystals is about you putting in hard work, looking at long-term growth, planning, investing your time. This is not a reading, Gemini, that talks of you getting loads and loads of money. And that might disappoint you because I feel like for some of you, money is tight and it's been very difficult. This is about you seeing the long-term view, not the short-term Clearing out the clutter could bring you a bit of short-term cash. Don't get me wrong. Especially if you're selling physical items that you have in your house and, you know, that you don't need anymore. You, you could raise enough money from that. But this Seven of Crystals is about you focusing now on putting in the hard work that will bring you the long-term growth. Looking at your options, planning for what it is that you want to do. This is where you need to focus your energy now. Not on the, the quick returns, but on how you're going to build a sustainable, lasting business that will keep you going from now till whenever it is that you want to end it. You know, if you have an exit plan to sell it, you know, this is all stuff you need to be thinking about. Plan. Plan what you're going to do. Your strengths and the positives here are, is the hangman. This is about you being patient and taking a step back, being able to let go of this urge to have everything now spirit is telling me to remind you that time is not running out what you do today will have an effect down the line and you have to look at things from this different perspective of instead of a quick win you need long-term growth what can you create what have you got in the midst of your clutter that if you turn it around could be bringing you money in every day till forever 
you know maybe you've got some sort of book passive income product that you could take the time now to fix and market and put out there and it could sell passively overnight while you sleep forever into the future time for patience and your patience is a positive here Gemini this view of looking at things from a new perspective it's not about making money just right now and turning out any old nonsense that will just bring you a quick win this is about quality products that will last that will bring you money in from now and years from now your possible obstacles the four of feathers sanctuary and rest quieting the mind grounding the thoughts this is a blockage here you if you're anything like me and I am a Gemini you are not great at taking time for self-care you are not great at taking time to rest you are not great at quieting your thoughts I personally cannot meditate now I'm gonna make a confession here I do have Asperger's syndrome and I do have associated ADHD with that which makes it very difficult for me to empty my mind so I have to use guided meditations in order to meditate because I can't focus on nothingness it doesn't work for me my brain is not made that way maybe you feel the same way maybe your brain is off the scale all the time and you have to look at a different way of quietening your mind do that make sure you focus on that because you're blocking yourself from taking time out and that's not going to help you with this you know you don't want to be burned out you need to make time for this sanctuary and rest and to ground your thoughts before making decisions your possible outcome there is the king of feathers he's a great guy he's about logic and justice he's flexible he makes decisions he sets boundaries he's an authority figure I feel like the key with this card is the boundary setting this month for you Gemini it goes along with this self-care I feel you need to really set some boundaries for yourself about what work you're going to do how many hours you spend doing it and then taking time out to rest and relax afterwards and recharge your batteries I get the feeling that you feel like time is running out so you need to rush and get everything done do all these things and you never pause for breath and it's time for you to do that now you have to focus on yourself be flexible be fair to yourself you know you know in your logical mind that in order to be at your best you need to care for yourself take action on that so now we get into your business reading oh, that's upside down there's no reversals in this I don't even know how to say this Pleiades Pleiades a double mission channeling and uplifting humanity now I don't think I've ever had this card before and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look in the book at this one and see what Rebecca Campbell says oh, it's the last card in the deck the Pleiadians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They have been incarnating on Earth since the near beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has a double mission, to grow at soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. If you have been called to write, speak or channel, this is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided. Of all the souls, Pleiadians are the chattiest, and so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into the third dimension. Thank you for doing your part in the great plan. Your presence and unique light is needed. Well, from that description, Gemini, it gives me the feeling that most of these Pleiadians are actually Geminis anyway, with this chattiness and the innovativeness <laughs> and this double mission and the communication skills. Keep doing what it is that you're doing, if that's what you're called to do. Where you need to focus your energy is on the star card. The peace and healing, which ties in so well with this. That's quite incredible. The six of crystals, strengths and positives. Blockages, the hermit, contemplation and wisdom. That is so in line with the feeling from this fourth of, four of feathers, isn't it? And then the outcome is the four of shells, soul searching and reevaluation. So the overall theme for your business is this channel what it is that you are meant to do and uplift humanity through it I'm going to mention right now the Firefly Circle which is a community I've created to gather women together who actually want to uplift humanity who want to make a positive impact on the planet 
through their business, through their work, or through the way they invest their profits. I really would love it if you would join, because if this is your mission to uplift humanity, we're better off doing it together than we are apart. Maybe you'll find some fellow Plodians, and, um, and we can move our mission forward better together than apart, I really think so. One firefly causes a little glow, a thousand fireflies can light up the world. So please do join, it is free. And I'll help you overcome business blocks, anything that, you know, prevents you from doing the things that you feel called to do as part of the, the community. So, yes, your energy needs to focus on the star, the star card, on peace, on healing, on optimism and recovery. We need this in the world right now. This message is needed in the world. It is so easy to focus on the negative side of things, to feel helpless, powerless, hopeless. We see world leaders making decisions on things and we just feel totally powerless to object, to do anything about it. We feel like they make decisions that are so far away from our values. The decisions that are being made by certain countries in regards to climate change are appalling. And it is so easy for us to sit and think, well, there's nothing we can do. We just have to accept our fate, that the planet will end and we'll all die with it. But that is not the truth. We need to focus as a collective on peace, healing, optimism, recovery, regeneration, rebirth, hope, renewal. Does that resonate with you? If this resonates with you, type yes, I'm in in the comments below and boop the like button subscribe because this is what i'm all about empowering women to build businesses that light up the world in some way this is what we need to focus on you're here for a reason gemini you've been brought on this planet at this time for a reason you are needed you are necessary do not hide your message your strengths the positives the six of crystals this is about generosity gratitude abundance and accomplishment it's also a, a card that represents give and take and as part of this message i can't think of anything more apt this is about you using your business to give to others but at the same time it's about balance and you receiving in return for what it is that you give it's an exchange of energy money for whatever it is that you give to people spirit is saying it doesn't matter if you believe that what you were given is a gift. A gift needs to be shared, but it doesn't have to be free. There needs to be an exchange of energy. You have to eat. You have to support your family. You have to care for yourself and the people that you care about. And I'll tell you now, if we're going to uplift humanity and change the world, we need money to do it. If we can't beat them, we have to join them. And unfortunately, we live in a very capitalist society where money is necessary to create power and change. So we need as profoundly feminine, as profoundly spiritual beings to harness the divine feminine, to create abundance for ourselves that we can then share with others so we can change their lives too. Okay? I feel, ran over. <laughs> I feel really strongly about this. The more women that gather money, the better. Because women tend to be more compassionate. Women tend to be more caring. Women, you know, the reason why there aren't so many women billionaires is because we spend it all before we ever get that far. There are a lot of women out there who are very, very wealthy, and you wouldn't know it because they use their money in other ways. They look just like you and me. They use their money in other ways. So that is the message here. Make money so that you can share, so that you can give to the people that you need to give to. You can show your generosity. Possible obstacles. We've got the hermit there, and he's about contemplation and wisdom, learning, soul searching, solitude, contemplation. He matches this four of feathers, and I feel again that this is a second message telling you to not block time alone in solitude do not block yourself from taking time out don't block yourself from seeking higher wisdom don't block yourself from learning things from investigating who you are and what you want and taking time out to replenish yourself all of this give and take takes energy you know you need to make sure that you replenish it don't block yourself from this don't block your own wisdom either this is another message to say if you have something to say get it said people need your wisdom people need your assistance they need to know 
They need to learn from you. Don't block your message. And then the outcome is the four of shells. And this is emotional stability. This is about you grounding yourself before making any decisions and choices. Now I'm going to clarify this last two cards, the Hermit and the Four of Shells, because I feel there's an unfinished piece of the puzzle here. So Spirit, can you please clarify for me the Hermit, this block? What is Gemini blocking? What's the message here with the Hermit, please? Oh. That's the Three of Pentacles. What are you blocking? Collaboration, productivity, planning, growth, skills and learning. Yeah, the learning side again, the wisdom. You're blocking sharing what it is that you know that is worth money to other people. You are sometimes blocking your productivity by finding other things to do, by distracting yourself. You see they're watching this, this guy here who stood on the bench. I feel like he's distracting them there. They're too busy watching him instead of getting on with what it is they're supposed to be doing. And that's what I get the feeling of on this card today, that you're blocking yourself from growth, basically, and from showing your skills, from teaching things, from being productive, from collaborating with other people. Just be careful with that, Gemini. There could be opportunities for you to collaborate with other people that can share your message. And you may be saying no to them. It could be that you're saying no to the Firefly Circle. <laughs> when really you should be saying yes, because it's a gathering of people that are like-minded. We've got the Three of Wands. This is about making your plans happen and having the confidence. Exploring. Look, he's looking out to see what's coming next for him. How can he make the plans happen? I feel like you're blocking your planning as well. I feel like maybe you're flying by the seat of your pants there, Gemini, instead of sitting and considering carefully what it is that you want to do and how you're going to make it happen. I feel like, I, I mean, I, I am a Gemini and I know what it's like. I just want to rush in and get things done, you know. So we get this four of shells. And to clarify this, I have the nine of pentacles. Security, abundance, self-sufficiency, independent, comfort and luxury. What a perfect card there. I think by re-evaluating what you're doing, by planning out what you're doing, by setting boundaries around what you're doing, you need... I feel like there's organisation needed here. I think there's this clear out of the clutter. It's definitely about not just physical things. I mean, yeah, tidy up your house, sell the, the excess things you don't want, give stuff away, donate to charity, whatever it is. But I feel like there's more clutter than that. I think there's a lot of mental clutter that you need to get rid of. And then you'll be able to move forward. And I think you're going to rediscover who you are and what your message is. You have a message. It's to do with peace and healing of the planet. It's about moving forward. It's about you wanting to give back to other people to share things with people that make their lives better. But you keep blocking yourself. You block yourself from making physical plans to follow. Organise your week. Make yourself a schedule. It's vitally important. Your message is vitally important. Gemini, we need it in this world. So don't give up. Do this soul searching. This re-evaluation of what you're doing. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. This was a great reading. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. It's totally free for you, but it helps me so much. Share this message with anybody that you think might benefit from it. Have a great October, and I will see you next time, Gemini. With love and magic always, this is Maria Gein signing out.